just a little update on the latest BSA A65 engine I've been working on and this is a 750 converted one that's come over from Mallorca actually and uh, among other things the owner asked me to fit these uh, new sort of upgrade conrods to it so I've done that and uh, obviously there's new big end shells gone in anyway the crank was fine so all the bottom end went back together after I put the crank together and um, that's all good to go. I haven't got the primary drive side on yet, but everything on this side, the timing side, is all done. Um, I'm waiting for cylinder base gaskets to come. And also, while I was at it, in spite of the bores, now this is a 750 SRM conversion, this engine, in spite of the bores being, well, perfect, as are the pistons which I've cleaned up and decoked. They've come up like new and they're a good fit in the bores and also the cylinder head, the valves are cleaned, I decoked and polished them and checked them in the guides, all that's fine and I also checked them on their um, valve seats as well with um, clutch and brake cleaning solvent, uh, I tested them with that just under their own, closed under their own weight with the head upside down and no clutch and brake cleaning solvent got past any of them. No play in the valves, between the valves and the guides, everything's good. Um, surprisingly, I took the piston rings off the pistons, um, just to sort of check, and I wasn't really expecting there to be any issues, but I checked them in the bores, and although the pistons are a great fit in the bores, the piston ring gaps are pretty excessive. They're sort of over 20 thou for the compression rings, probably the best part of an over 30 thou actually for the oil rings so um, I spoke to SRM and just checked just in case I didn't really think so but just in case that's how they were meant to be and I was assured that they're not so I've ordered a new set of rings but what's gone on with them is anybody's guess because there's no signs of wear in the bores or on the piston skirts whether somebody fitted those piston rings and decided they thought the gaps were a bit too small and took a file to them or something I really don't know. Other than that, perhaps the piston rings wore very rapidly, but I doubt that very much. So anyway, there's new piston rings on their way. Um, got base gaskets coming and uh, once they get here, they'll be able to build up the top end. The cylinder head's all done already. So um, in the next few days, we should see some more marked progress on this engine, but that's where we're at at the moment. And all this bottom end is done, and uh, that lot is ready to go back together, subject to piston rings and gaskets. So there we go so far.